I am Stealth Monkey. Behind me is Lake Weymouth. For this month's Halloween challenge, I'm going to be camping at the mouth of the creek. And that creek is called Murdering Creek. It has a very dark history. Let me tell you about it. I am Stealth Monkey. Get amongst it. Along Murdering Creek Road, you'll find Murdering Creek, located eight kilometers south of Noosa Heads at the southeast corner of Lake Weber. Now this place has a very dark history. A planned massacre of First Nation men from the Gubby Gubby tribe by colonizers in the late 1860s. Now their hunting lands were being taken over by the colonizers. And as you would, they started spearing cattle for food, which pissed off the cattle. Eight men set up an ambush at the entrance to the creek that runs off Lake Weber, sending one of them to the edge of the lake as bait. When they spotted him, the Gubby Gubby tribesmen paddled their canoes towards him. The decoy bailed to the scrub, where the seven other men were waiting. They opened fire, killing a lot instantly and wounding a lot more. They continued firing as they tried to escape, killing somewhere between 20 to 70 First Nation tribesmen. Accounts vary, the true number isn't clear. From the late 1700s, across Australia up until the 1930s, there were an estimated total of 423 massacres, with the majority of the victims being indigenous. I think it's time we head down and find somewhere to camp. I am still. Let's go get amongst it. We're heading down the trail to Murdering Creek now. I'm not sure if it's because I know what's happened here. I'm already getting a weird feeling. It is creeping me out already. As creepy as it is, man, this place, it is beautiful. stuff down here for a sec. Gotta try and find somewhere to set up. It's so flooded. That's not that. <laughs> this place is insane though. And I am Stealth Monkey. Like and subscribe man. Get amongst it. <laughs> This here, this is a moving creek. Man, the water's dark. Let's sit through here and have a look. Starting to rain, man. I need to go and get that pack. Bring my gear back in here. Let's see what we can put up in here. It's a pretty tight fit. Let's do that. Alright, let's get this done. You know what comes first. <laughs> Tell you what guys, 
Before I crack this, I do want to pay my respects to the custodians, the original owners of this land, the current owners of this land, the Gubby Gubby tribe. I do not want this in any way to come across as disrespectful. I know this is a challenge, but this is you know, a sacred place. There is an energy about it. I can feel that. But guys, I am Stealth Monkey. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Let's get amongst it. The rain is coming down, so let's get this tarp up first, I think. We got that set up. I decided to bring the DD tarp, the big one, the 420 by 420. <laughs> that was for you, weed in the bush. <laughs> It's a 4x4, four four, not a 420. Sorry, man. A lot bigger because they're supposed to be storms. Man, it hasn't hit yet. But I'm going to get the bivy set up now. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what we can get up to. I am Stealth Monkey. This one here, this is for the uh, October challenge. It's camping somewhere creepy as fuck. Generally, that's the gist of it. Anything. But that was set by uh, Smiling Scott, Canadian Beaver. Check him out, guys. He is hilarious. <laughs> Loving it. All right, guys, get amongst it. I am Stealth Monkey. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. If you guys enjoy this stuff, like and subscribe. Yeah, for sure. But check out Stealth Camping Alliance, man. They got the Facebook group. They just get the website up and running properly now. Still working on it. Probably by the time this gets, uh, you know, aired to you guys, the website will be running fine. Uh, so go and check that out now. Even if you don't enjoy stealth camping yourself or uploading videos to become a member of the Stealth Camping Alliance and uh, you know an active member so to speak you can check it out if you enjoy watching that type of shit man there's some pretty decent guys out there getting up to some mischief man so many different styles so many different types man have a look go through it check their backlog it's been amazing man get amongst it the baby set up under the big tarp. We're gonna go out and have a quick look from outside down up the other end and we'll see what we need to do. Let's do that. The trail looks wicked. We're gonna go out that way and have a look back in. I kind of get the feeling we're not gonna have any visitors tonight. I don't know if anybody's going to come out here in this weather. If we do have visitors, they're not going to be living, breathing visitors. I thought I might be able to camp here, but then, to be honest, if anybody did come down, they'd be coming in here. So camping here wouldn't be a... But from when I came out before, it looked like the only flat spot. If we go out to this trail and we go out to the edge of the water, So guys, this is Lake Weber. Across the other side of the, uh, the lake there, that's Noosa. And down this way, is the entrance to the Murdering Creek. Very quiet, very eerie feeling. I'm looking back in there. Where I am here, I can't see anything. So if anybody standing here was looking in, they're not going to see my tarp whatsoever. Oh, man, don't do that. Oh. Made the wind through the trees. Fucking hell. Let's go ahead. Harder to see in the camera. I can see the tarp, but not very visible. I know it's there, but you you can't tell what it is from here. I think we could. Oh, the wind just blew it up. You see that? That is literally like a funnel. I don't want to know what's in there. <laughs> I'm over there somewhere. I can't see it. I am 
I'm sincerely hoping that if there is anything here that does pose a threat, they say the stealth monkey is a bigger threat and get the fuck out. <laughs> Think about getting dinner on. Yeah, boy. Crack another step too. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Cheers, guys. Get amongst it. So we're gonna make a uh, carbonara the proper way. So while we're crisping this stuff up, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that voted for me the September challenge, the airport challenge. Thank you uh, immensely. <laughs> means a lot. My first challenge with the Stealth Camping Alliance to pull off a win, I'm, my, I, I, had, <laughs> I had no idea that this, this was anywhere, you know, the direction that, that a YouTube channel for me was going to take. It, it's really good. So for anybody that didn't vote for me, thanks for nothing. No, I'm kidding. No, so kidding. <laughs> uh, but honestly, big shout out to Michael's Camping, another Aussie. Yeah, lad. Yeah, lad. Maltese Falcon. Great videos, guys. Really good. We got Grave Digger. I voted for you, man, and then it was like 34% even. I was like, what have I done? <laughs> Why have I voted for you? But neck and neck was really good. And then Dick in the Dirt. Mate, you came home strong, didn't you? Mate, I, I, I was a little bit worried. But thankfully, man, like, honestly, thank you. I, I, I held out, and it, it's an honor to have, uh, to have won that. And now moving on to this challenge, Canadian Beaver, putting this one out there. Like I said earlier, I don't know why I chose this spot. Man, but I'll tell you what, speaking to a good friend of mine, Kim Brown, Damien Hunter, check out his page. He's from up in Karatha, up in uh, WA he grew up. Spoke to him, I wanted to make this, you know, respectful as possible. I didn't want it to be a big farce. And just like, ah, scary, ah. It is a legitimate scary place, man. It has a very dark history. And I do want to pay my respects. As I said, we to the Cubby Cubby tribe. It is a privilege to actually be here. The feeling you get while you're here, it's, you do get this sense of something seems alive here, man. It's like, it's like the country speaking to me. It's, it's surreal, it's a surreal feeling. Like, I came out here thinking, you know, I've been shitting myself for days, man. And I'm thinking, what have I done? What am I, man? And now that I'm here, man, it feels good. It really does. To hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Guys, if you've seen any of this for the first time, if you have no idea who I am, I am Stealth Monkey. Check out the Facebook page, Stealth Camping Alliance. There's links in there uh, to the September challenge, uh, the, the airport challenge that just went. They're all up. And if you go to Camp Like a Boom's YouTube page, Go to his playlists. Uh, there'll be, you know, a few on there already. Last time I checked, I think there was five or six. Uh, they're all premieres over the weekend, the last weekend of October, 30th and the 31st, I do believe it is. 31st, happy birthday, Mum. Shout out to Squib. He's chosen the next challenge. Man, I love that idea. I literally didn't know you were a chef. That's pretty cool. And he's come out with a good idea, man. The, um, the stealth camp cook-off. Yeah, boy. I don't know if this place is gonna flood. I will not bail. I can promise you that. I'm not gonna bail. Nothing creepy's happened yet. I'm happy with that. Yeah, this shouldn't take. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you guys are sneaky. Well, me stealth monkey. The fuck did you get over there so quick? Let me get the pecorino cheese. And we. This is, man, dinner could be over before it's even fucking finished if I do this wrong. I gotta pour the egg into the cheese. You know what I did? 
didn't forget the pepper. Is ready to go. Yeah, boy. Hashtag stealth camping lines. I'm stealth monkey. This is Carbonara. This is Murdering Creek. I am a little freaked out by now, I'm telling you. Get amongst it. Let's head down along Murdering Creek and see what we can get up to. Yeah. Step two. You can't see it, but the creek's behind me there. We're gonna head out that way. Why am I camping so close to this? I don't know. Man, let's go back through here. Just a little bit there, that water, that noise just. <laughs> Can't wait for something to come out of the water and fucking drag me in. Why am I so freaked out? There's branches coming out of the water. It's just creepy, man. This place is creepy, man. Man, I kind of want to chill here, but I don't. I think I've had enough by the water. I am quite weirded out. I'm going to head back to my camp. Let's go back there. This way. The rain's getting kind of heavy, so... Any noises out there I can't really hear, so that makes me feel a bit better at the moment, but I'm some on edge. So you get to the water, the weirder it is, the creepier it is. People have seen orbs. My brother told me, man, I've heard about the orbs. He said when people see the orbs and the orbs entice them into the water, they follow them into the water and they don't come back out, man. I'm not going in that water. Hopefully the spirits in this place know that I don't mean any harm or any disrespect while I'm here. I just want a stealth camp. Enjoy my step twos, entertain you guys, pack up in the morning, leave no trace. Step two, hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance, I am Stealth Monkey, get amongst it. Smiling Scott, Canadian beaver, set this challenge. <laughs> thanks man, <laughs> seriously thank you. This is messed up, what have you done to me? But he has asked us to uh, 
you know, take a bit of time and shout out to uh, the Stealth Camping Alliance and let you guys know what it means to me. Uh, it, it means a great deal. It really does. Not only am I enjoying getting out here doing these challenges, you know, trying to figure out where can I go for this specific challenge, you know, what can I do for this specific challenge, but then also just stealth camping in general, you know, scouting around, finding good spots, sneaking in, sneaking out, undetected, yeah, boy. the community. But this, excuse me, this stealth camping lights is, it's amazing. And when you, you watch a live, somebody comments on the live and the person doing the live is like, man, yeah, and they give a mad shout out to that person. It's, it's, it's helped me find my passion for, I guess, for life again. Uh, part of my life, just, you know, just recently a lot going on and you know, things not working out the way you planned, the way you'd like. Life just likes to kick you in the ass a few times even there. But finding that passion again, and now I've, uh, I've gone back and worked for the company that I worked for before when I was passionate. Yeah, I couldn't have, couldn't, couldn't have gone back and done that. I just didn't have the uh, emotional energy, I guess, to work in that environment. But this has given me a lift. It's got me back, back out there, so. I think moving forward, you know, Stealth Monkey, he's having a ball. But Kevin, Stealth Camping Alliance has helped Kevin. Stealth Monkey doesn't need help, he's a freak. There's something wrong with that kid. He is medicated though, so you are safe if you ever come across him, it's all right. Outside Stealth Camping, outside Stealth Monkey. Me, myself, uh, new lease on life as they say. Thank you very much to everybody in the Stealth Camping Alliance. Thank you to all my subscribers. I didn't expect to have that many so far, so that's good. But you guys have been amazing and you'll continue to be amazing. Only, only way is up together, guys. So. Cheers. stepped out of my tarp to take a piss and something went in the bush and then stopped. If that was a fucking kangaroo, it probably would have kept going. I don't know what it was, but it sounded heavy. It freaked me the fuck out. It's like 7.45 and I'm in my bivy. I am so freaked out taking that piss and hearing those noises in the bush. Tipped me over the edge, man. I am stopped monkey. <laughs> The rain held off. It's supposed to be a storm, but that hasn't happened, so that's good. The step two's going down well while I'm laying in the movie, but the sound of that rain on the tarp is going down much better. It's calming. As freaky as this place is, at least with that heavy rain, I don't hear what's going on outside. I mean, I can relax. Damn, this is really heavy. I wonder if that lake being that big, do you think this creek is gonna go up and flood out in here? If it like literally rains all night? Fuck, I'm worried. I need the rain to slow down. Okay, cool. The rain's not coming in under here, that's good. I thought it was coming in this way and landing on the bivy down here on the side, but it's not. I'm pretty sure we won't flood here. But I guess we'll find out. I didn't bring enough step twos to deal with this shit, man. <laughs> Step three would be pretty good right now. Now that would probably mess me up. I'd probably bail and leave everything here, to be honest. 
<laughs> run out of there and be boxer shorts. <laughs> I want this night to be on. <laughs> Oh man. Morning. The water is pissing, man. I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little bit. I'm this way, so it's so good on the side. There's water in here. It's not that bad. It's come up pretty high over there, it's flooded behind me. But where I am, under this tarp, it's quite good. I'm alright. I'm gonna have to chill here for a while, but hopefully this rain slows down a little bit before I back up. But I'm gonna have another bit more, I'm gonna have a bit more sleep. Oh, yeah, it's like seven o'clock now, and the rain stopped. I really don't want to get up. I'm so comfortable. <laughs> I do need to get up. Pack this site down before that storm comes back. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> Hashtag stealth camping alliance, guys. I am still funky. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. Man, I am literally surrounded by water. I think there's water under me, but the ground tarp's done its job. Oh, you can see here, look. The water's come up through the hole in the, uh, the tarp where I've got the tent peg going through. Yeah, man. Completely flooded. all around me. The creek levels come up completely. I thought it was okay, pretty much, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot worse than I thought. The uh, water come up on this rubbish bag that I had and my backpack is quite soaked it's quite wet and now just standing on this has brought the water up into it so fuck <laughs> oh let's pack up all right so the plan is pack the site down and then chill under this tarp until the rain slows down a bit man and then I'm gonna whip the tarp down it's not gonna be that hard rip the pegs out Take the toggles out of the crusted knots either side. You're gonna stuff the tarp straight into the bag and then I'm gonna get the fuck out. <laughs> Let's do that. All right guys, it's all packed up. Look at that. Got the bin bag. Mate, I slept in a swamp. <laughs> I am still monkey. Hey guys. Let's head out. You gotta see the size of this creek now. Let's do that. Get amongst it. So as you can see behind the swamp, literally where the ground tarp was, which kind of kept it dry, but then all around me, the water level came up. When we walked out there yesterday, that trail there, flooded up. Now when we head out here to the creek, guys, flooded through here. Thank God for waterproof boots. But guys, if you guys remember, if you have a look here at the size of the creek yesterday when we came in, and this is what it's looking like now. And, oh. Mate, I've had a break in the rain. All right, let's go before that rain comes. This place is flooded out, hard out, man. I have to get through that way somewhere. Let's go. 
Guys, we've made it out alive from Murdering Creek. The trail on the way out is like a river. <laughs> we'll get through that. But guys, thanks for coming along, man. This has been the October challenge set by the Canadian Beaver. Good man. Hey guys, I am Stealth Monkey, hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance, and I am out.